Where's my baby? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel as usual. I am so excited because look at what's in my hand. Yes, I unboxed it yesterday. I wasn't able to like take a look at it because I didn't know anything about this. Like I don't know anything about the damn camera. Like it's one thing looking at YouTube videos and then after that you're like having it in your hands. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> this is, I, and I also see why people call this a system. Like it's, it's a legit total extreme system. But I have a really cool video. I want to do for you guys um, since I don't know how to work this camera I'm gonna run you guys through what I do steps that I take in order to make sure that this camera is 100% functional well not 100% functional if you have a person around you that wants to sell you one of these or like any other medium for my camera just watch this video and watch some of the stuff that I do I don't know the camera completely so um, these are the most basic things you could even apply this to 35 millimeters as well so um, first step is actually stripping the camera I'm not gonna strip the whole entire camera I have an idea on how to do this but it's not a complete way to do it so viewfinder could be detached this detached and then I get to I also look and see if everything is in good condition I forgot to get like q-tips to really do like a deep clean into this camera I haven't done that quite yet but um yeah and then um sort of see how the mechanics work so we're just gonna pretty much like see how the shutter works if the shutter is working at all so we're gonna take out the dark slide and we're gonna place it on the side over here I guess this is where it goes that's where everybody kind of puts it so we're gonna put the dark side over there and we're gonna see the mechanics of everything so right now we're gonna crank the camera um, I should step back a little bit okay so mirror goes up like it's supposed to which means everything is good mirror goes up again um, and mirror goes up again so the mirror is working everything's working that's a good sign this camera is working so far you know what I'm saying but check out the glow look at the tones on the skin whoa okay all right so second check we just put that back on what I'm about to show you guys applies actually to the Mamiya RZ and the RB as well so this is very important to check um, before you buy a, a RB or RZ make sure the bellows are working make sure not necessarily working make sure the bellows don't have any holes or don't have any anything that makes it see, not focus or seem new so if we're looking at my bellows they look really good so far so you pretty much extend the focusing system all the way out and then check out the bellows the bellows are fully functional we bring them back in the knobs are working you test out the, the stiff thingy to, to to lock it in it's working hey guys it's editing me i apologize in advance for the excessive amount of uh heat <laughs> i apologize for the excessive amount of heat particles appearing right under my uh quite unfortunate how hot it was but uh just ignore please <laughs> please just ignore the moment i'm hurting just watching it it hurts let's just pretend it's not there okay <laughs> oh my god this is so bad the bellows are in good shape that is good that's a really good sign as well so we're not gonna have any focusing problems but the key thing that you guys gotta check out is also the um Give me one second. So next thing we're gonna be checking out is the shutter on the camera. Since this is a leaf shutter, I, the lens is actually the shutter. So the shutter is actually in the lens. What I usually do is just I look. I usually look at it and uh, I see how fast it is. If anything is any different, so I'm gonna run it through some shutter speeds. Here's a test. So it's at one right now. You look through it. You kind of see it open and it holds. That's the shutter going off. You can see it get faster and faster and faster and faster. Yeah. So, yeah. So, right now... Hey guys, this is editing me again. It appears that we have successfully wiped the sweat off my forehead. I am so happy this actually got to happen in this footage as this was making me like <laughs> This was making me cringe. It was making me cringe so bad. Oh my god, it was so terrible. It is so hot in Toronto, guys. It is too hot, man. Like, it is too, too hot. Like, I don't have my AC on. I'm going crazy. Like, <laughs> it's too 
too much it's too hot but i just went went through all the shutter speed it looks fine um other than that what else am i gonna check i want to check if it's rotating this is a rotatable back camera so you want to check if it's rotating and i could actually see through here so I, you could actually see through the viewfinder when it's rotated you get red lines to kind of guide you to say this is your framing which is really really cool i don't know if you guys could see that but pretty much yeah um what else am i gonna check i'm going to be also checking the film back the film back is really important to check it is extremely important to check how do you take the film back off this thing you pretty much slide it here all the way and slide at the bottom to release the film back that was actually locked i don't know why it's not releasing right now so you gotta put the dark slide back in the camera when you're checking or you won't be able to release the film back you won't be able to release the film back it's a protection mechanism that prevents you from switching your film backs and also damaging the film you're actually currently shooting right now in order to unlock you gotta push these and then push this at the bottom as well and voila so you check this out and you crank it you do like a couple cranks cranks it looks like it's fully functional right now let's check the inside i see there's a lot of deteriorating going on here i don't know if that's gonna be a problem but nothing that can't be fixed so we have a spool in here here's the actual film back we're gonna check that out yeah so you gotta check all these out if the spool is actually spinning which it is, which is really good. These are all great signs. So far, the camera is fully functional. And then you pretty much put this back on. I just recently learned that when you own an RB, you do not want to slide. It's not a sliding mechanism. It's literally a detached mechanism. So you gotta make sure you put it on there and then you lock it in. And then you lock it in at the bottom as well. So lock that in. And with this, you just gotta lock that so again guys this is a full system camera which is insane i just did all the checks on it that i would look out for so yeah that's how you pretty much do a quick rundown on your new camera that you don't know about or you want to just do the basic check to ensure that it works this also works with 35 millimeter guys that's the first these are all the checks i do at first before i actually purchase the camera shutter is really important guys shutter speed is really important you want to make sure all those shutter speeds are working and fully functional um, this camera looks fully functional so far. I still gotta run a foam roll through it to do the final test, but as for things that I should be looking out for, it's all good. Everything is all good, and yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Shingy. You already know what it is. Shop by Shingy. Follow me on Instagram at Shop by Shingy. Follow my website, shopbyshingy.com, and also follow the brand at shopwaybetterco.com. I love you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you for your constant support and subscriptions. Turn on the damn bell because you don't want to miss any bear notifications. You know, man's post at any fucking time you don't want to be like out of info you know what i'm saying so like hit that damn bell follow the boy you already know what it is yo if you got recommendations drop it down below if i'm missing anything that i did not test out on this camera i would really love to know and i'll probably do an update video on that so thank you so much guys i appreciate you from the rb and i deuces <laughs>